Because yeah. I just couldn't take it anymore being away from my mum. Yeah. And my little brothers. And, um. Sorry, guys, man. Uh, sorry to hear about what you've been through. I never really spoke about this thing before. Mark, uh, we're so happy to bump into you just randomly here in Camden today. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you, Mark, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30. And Mark, how long have you been home this for? Seven years, guys. Seven years. Um, what's making you so emotional already? You know what, guys? It's just hard out here, man. It's just like, because I just bumped into you, you know, like, being homeless out here is hard because you really get this abuse, you know, from people. Like, and, like, and I kind of don't blame them because mm. like, a lot of the homeless, like, so bang on drugs and that. Yeah. And they're kind of abusive. They don't even realise they're doing it half the time because they're asking them for money. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. when they give them a date, look, they get abusive. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of don't blame them. But it's just sometimes you feel a heart a bit hard done by it, you know? And like, yeah, it's just hard, man. You just get abuse from people like, and sometimes it's not really like granted, you know? Mm. So like, yeah, it's just hard. How long were you standing there for before we came? An hour and a half. An hour okay. and a half. I was just standing there, and just walking around what, in a circle. How are people towards you in that hour? Are they being... It's cold. Cold, yeah, not know, responsive. Like, nah, cold. Yeah, I was just trying to get something to eat. I was literally mm. that's what I was waiting for. SWAT, okay. like I said, and like, yeah, it was just hard, man. Just, yeah, and then when I met you guys, and then yeah, would it be okay for after this interview we go with you and get you something to eat? No problem. Yeah, yeah, of course. Alright, get your hot meal. Oh, well, yeah, one hundred. Yeah, right, one hundred. We'll yeah. So now I want to, uh, I want you to start from the get go. How it all uh, happened when you became homeless? How was your life before you became homeless? Okay. Um, do you want me to go all the way back? Yeah, please. Um. Okay, I came from a bad, like, I hate saying bad childhood, but you know, but in reality it probably was a bad childhood, it is a bad childhood. Um, abusive dad, you know, drink, like, come home every night, beat mum, yeah, I'm the oldest. So then he start on me, obviously, and because I look like my mum's side of the family, for oh, Ross, yeah. Just because yeah, of that? Yeah, man, bad, yeah, it's just all that, you know what I'm saying? Was he and using the rest alcohol of my as well? Yeah, 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 because I look like, yeah, yeah, it was just, yeah. he's just, but even beyond, like, because alcoholics are a different thing, yeah? yeah? Addiction is a different, but he's just a bad person even without, out, he's just a kind of a bad person, oh. you know what I mean? He just was, and um, yeah, it was just, it was hard, man. Certain things that like, used to tell me like that I wasn't, um, that I was my mum's brother's kid. Mm. So basically my mum and my brother, mum okay. and her brother, yeah, yeah, that's what he used to, yeah, and like, he used to come in like, when he used to like, when like, he used to do it like really, um, in a horrible way, like he used to come in, yeah, and he used to make it sound like the way he come in with the key for the front door, yeah, that like a uh, aggressive way. That like yeah, take your time, bro. Yeah, he make it sound like. He was Raw, deep. Make it sound like he was coming in, yeah? And he was just kind of like, give me a beat in, yeah? Which I kind of handle, kind of handle that, yeah? Because that's like a nightly thing, yeah? But he'd be doing a horrible way and he'd make it out as he was coming in. He'd say one or two words just to let me know that I was about to get it. But then he turned all nice and he make me come up. It's scaring you for no sit reason. Sit in the sitting room. And he'd sit there and he'd, he'd pull out that like, drink, like a bottle of whiskey in it, yeah? And like he'd pour like a full big glass and like a tumbler and he'd make me drink it and he'd say then... Because this was worse than all the How people, old were yeah? you at that point? Oh no, I was only little, man. I was only little, brother. I was only about... Nine. Okay. Nine. It's making yeah, you drink whiskey at that eight. age. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. And, um, and what would happen after that? Yeah, and then he'd sit there and he'd tell me like... Yeah, yeah, your mum, your mum and your uncle Chrissy. Yeah, they take like, that's where you came from. That's where you came from. And then you make you sit there all night. Oh, that's messed up, man. And you were only nine. <sighs> so sorry, man, that you had to go through all oh, this. Oh, it's cool, bruv. Oh, my God. But man, I didn't talk about this shit before, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, no, no. That's why I, it's no, kind I of respect like you raw, for that, bro. I respect you for that. I never really spoke about this kind of thing before, bruv. And people, see, that's, that's the sad thing, that when you're standing there, people walking past you, they don't even know what you've been through. They just see you standing, they didn't realise. Come on, man. That's what it is, bro. I know, yeah. So, so at, thing, at what age did you leave home then? What, okay, well, when so I what was... what happened after that then? Right. Well, it gets, it gets worse because we moved back home to Ireland, yeah? Yeah. Because that's where he's from, yeah? We moved back home to Ireland. And, where were um, you? Uh, where did you grow up? Uh, here, I was born in um, North London. North London, okay. Yeah, North London. And um, so we moved back home to Ireland. And then things just got worse. So when I was 13, um, 
my uncles came and got me out of the house because something your happened, yeah? Your mum's brothers? Uh, no, my, my dad's brothers. Because okay. um, he, he, he had a shotgun, yeah? Flipping out. Well, basically, common knowledge in the family that he wanted to kill. He was going to kill, like, he had a set on me, basically. You know what I mean? Like, and you're just, only 13? Yeah, yeah, this time, yeah, yeah, this time, yeah. So, like, but he had a shot, and, like, my uncles were fully sure that like, he was going to do it, you know? So they said, like, Jay, you've got to come with us. Or, you've, got, you've got to come with us. So I went with them, and, um, yeah, I stayed with them for a couple of years, but then I had to go back. Because then he started going down along my younger brothers. Where was your mum at this point? Yeah, she's there in the house, bro. But she's like bad. She can't do nothing, yeah, she can't do nothing, bro. No, I've got too much love for my mum. Mm. My mum can't do nothing. Did you have any siblings? Yeah, yeah. My You're... three brothers. Okay. I'm the oldest. But then after that, it didn't take long. It only took a few months for him to start working his way along. Okay. It was abusive. To, to the one under me, yeah, to the one under me, do you know what I mean? But it was never as bad because, like, they all look like him. I know it sounds silly, yeah? Yeah. But because they all look like him, you know? Okay. That's how they felt it wasn't. But, yeah, but. Anyway, I ended up moving back home, you know, and like, um... When you said back home, honest, you mean yeah. in Ireland? No, no, back home to the house. North London? Back to, oh. No, back home to the house with okay. him. In Ireland, With yeah. them, yeah? Yeah. Because I just couldn't take it anymore being away from my mum. Yeah. And my little brothers. And, um... Sorry, guys, man. Uh, sorry to hear about what you've been through. I never really spoke about this thing before. It's kind of peak. Oh. Because you know what it is, bro? Sometimes we bury these things deep under, inside us, and now it's coming out. Yeah, so. but you know, sometimes like you don't feel like, like, like obviously it affects you, but you don't yeah. realise how much... Exactly, I, like, until you speak about it. Yeah, you don't realise. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm moving home. But um, I end up, when I was 16, I lost it one night. I was batting him. You know, in Ireland, there's a lot of fires, open fires. Yeah. You know, fire rides, yeah. a poker. Mm. I end up batting him. I ended up battering him. Okay. And then it was madness for about a week and all the family were going nuts, like, because obviously he'd driven me to it. They weren't going nuts yeah. to me. And basically, no one seen him since. But it caused such madness in the family. And then my littlest brother started, like, turning against me. Oh, defending dad? Yeah, kind of thing. What was the state of your dad after you, you hit him? Well, he was alive. He was alive. Yeah. Which is lucky, but to be fair, I don't care what he was. He, he's alive. But um, as far as I know, he's in England somewhere now because he's, do you know what I mean? He just left then. He just left. That was it. No one's okay. seen him since. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like um, my mum and that, my little brother, put a lot of the blame on me. Find that because of financially. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they were left, do you know what yeah. I mean? We were, all, we were left really fucking poor. Do you know what I mean? And like, we're only getting so much help from other family. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's just the way it turned out. But now, So can I ask I you? I don't know, man. I've been left, Bob. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, after, need that, left. after the incident with your dad, um, did you you left? Did you leave as well, or you stayed with, with mum? I stayed with mum for and, about a week. Okay, and then for what about happened? a week. Where did you go after? Uh, not. I went. I, went, I had to take the streets because I stayed. My fa my dad's family, yeah, were coming and they were helping and that, yeah. But everything just went mad because then my little brother was starting to turn on me and started like in the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I thought like I'd. You know, me and even his family, what I'd done the best thing ever. Yeah. But then suddenly my mum, like, because he's got a brainwash, isn't it? It's one of them, bro. So you've been homeless since since what age now? Oh, uh, well, I was homeless, right, from when I was 16, yeah? From when I was 16. Yeah. But I've been homeless here okay. for seven years. Over here okay. for seven years. So, bro, I want to ask you, when you, at the age of 16, you became homeless, uh, looking back, do you remember that first day that you, that you realised, shit, I'm homeless? Well, how was that Do you day? know what? I always explain it to people, yeah? The first time ever. Because when I walked down the road, I looked left and right, yeah? And it's the only time, it was the first time in my life I didn't know where I was going. Okay. Like, I stood there and didn't know, like, what I was going to do in an hour, what right. I was going to do in a day, or what I was going to do in a week. And I looked left and I didn't know where to go. So that was the first time. Do you remember where you slept? Uh, that night outside the church. Okay, outside just the out church. In the open. Yeah, outside the church. Well, yeah, just out the open. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so basically, that that history that you've been through, that's what led you to being homeless. And since then, you've kind of been homeless on yeah. and off, even to this age. And you said you're 30 now. Okay. Now, Mark, I want to ask you that. What's the toughest thing about being homeless? Toughest thing about being homeless. Um. 
like support, I think, bruv. You know, like, not even support, it's just understanding. From who? From the people. We are the people, ain't we? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? We are the people. It's just like an understanding, bruv. You know what I mean? How does that make you feel when they don't give you the time and they don't want to understand? Do you know what? It's, it's hard, but do you know what? I can't. I can't I don't hold any like grudge against them because they're people as well. Like they just see like drug addicts, you know, alcoholics. Do you know what I mean? I can't blame them because sometimes I look at them and think, "Oh my God, get these people away from me." Do you know what I mean? So like, but it's just like people need to look behind what happens because it makes me sick. Do you know when people start saying like, "You junkie this," or "Do you know to these people, you junkie yeah. this, you junkie that." I mean, you don't got a clue. You don't know. Exactly. You don't know like where they come from, and it just gets me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we just can't relate to these people. Do you know what I'm saying? And you know, yeah. even after listening to you, you can't judge anyone until you step up, you know, yeah, step in their shoes. No. And, and that's so sad. And uh, where do you currently sleep? Uh, in Venice Street. What, do you have a sleeping bag? Yeah, or a I've got a sleeping bag. I'll keep it in the, in the electric box. Okay. In and um, generally speaking, how are people, like other homeless people towards you? Um, oh, um, they're actually okay. They're okay. Okay, because yeah. I, I, I kind of. Um, should be bigger myself. I, I kind of I try to be a nice person for people. You know what I mean? Like, I hope you know. You get along with. Like, them. if I get food or something, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah, I, yeah, yeah, of course, come on. Now, what is there anything that you missed from your life before you became homeless? Anything I know you had a I tough miss. upbringing, but anything that I miss? Someone's I love. Now, you know. You left house at the age of 16. Did you ever go back? No, I've seen them obviously since. They know you're homeless. Yeah, oh no, yeah, yeah, they know I'm homeless, yeah. They know I'm homeless, yeah. But there was so much like. Bad blood. I don't, yeah, like, it was just. But it was unwarranted, like, like. I don't know. It was just it's so strange the way it happened, yeah. And I don't know, it feels, it almost feels, yeah, like there was an outside influence mm. on, on them. That's possible, how it feels, yeah. yeah, that's how it feels, and like... And they've basically left you to the wolves out here? Basically, that's how it feels, yeah. bro. I ain't seen them. Okay, can I ask you now, being homeless, what's the one lesson that you've learned then? Oh, what's the one lesson? Do you know what, just keep being nice. Just keep being you. It must just be hard stick, though, stick, isn't it? Because you like... must have so much anger and hate in you yeah, of course, from but what you've been what? through, and you're still being nice to everyone. Yeah, but do you know what though? Yeah. I've learned, like, I've been shown love by people, and you know, do you know what's mad is I get shown more love by just random people than I do by people that I've done good things for. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, it's mad. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. It's just something that I've, I just keep telling myself, not all the time, but you know, it's just something I try to keep in me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just try to keep. It like, just makes me realize, you know, when you do good for someone else, it doesn't always come back from that same person, but it comes back to comes you one back. way. Or the other, but not always from that same person. Yeah. And look, by chance we've met you as well, and hopefully we can help you as well. Yeah, um, back, I want to ask you now. You know, you must have experienced so much while being homeless and met other homeless people as well. How easy would you say it is for someone to become homeless? Quite easy, because I, I never realised it was going. I never knew it was going to happen to me. Mm. Man, all I was doing was defending my family. I was literally defending my family. Yeah, doing something good. Literally defending my family. And like, yeah. What, it's easy, bro. What's the nicest thing someone has done for you since you've been homeless? Um, since I've been homeless. Since I've been homeless. Um, I've, had one of, I've had a couple of nice things done. Someone bought me a pair of trainers. Oh, nice. Someone bought me a pair of trainers before, yeah. Which was really nice because I swear to God, I couldn't walk. I could not walk. That was, um, yeah, that holds a lot of weight because I literally couldn't walk. Like, I was like, I was like oh. that. You know, like, yeah, and it was just, like, that holds a lot of weight with me because it meant so much to me at the time. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, a pair of trainers. Um, someone paid me for a week in a B and B in Kings Cross nice. for a week. Yeah, before. Uh, how did that feel? Yeah, it was, it was. Do you know what? It was. I'll be honest. Yeah, I felt a bit odd. To be fair, yeah, like not taking it, but I felt a bit odd because it just felt strange. Like it felt like I was almost being groomed. I know it sounds a bit like crazy, <laughs> but that's how it felt. That's how it felt. It was okay, like because you weren't used to it, innit? So. Yeah, it just felt odd. It felt strange, and I thought like I didn't. I mean, it felt booky. I didn't know whether to trust the person or do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the way it felt. But um, but yeah, that was nice. Okay. But and I don't know though. It kind of hurt when I had to leave. 
Yeah, <laughs> on I've heard yeah. that one before. Yeah, so. On I sleeve, yeah. yeah so it, 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 looking back, would you would that was that a good thing for you or not? I know, of course it was a good thing. It was it was love. You know what I mean? It was out of love. You know what I mean? So. And what would you say is the meanest thing someone has done to you? So I tried to set me on fire in my sleeping bag. What? Yeah, I tried to set me on fire in my sleeping bag. Will you know Zippo light a few? Yeah. For, yeah. So oh I tried to set me on goodness. fire. Yeah, yeah. And that was only up there on Arlington Road. Yeah. You must have been shocked, like. Yeah. Did you know what? Shocked, man. I was shit myself. I jumped up and luckily, yeah, I had a chain. Yeah, I had a chain in the doorway. Yeah. yeah. Do you know where I was sleeping yeah. on Arlington by the, you know, the bingo. Yeah. I, there was a chain in the doorway, so and luckily. Them. And but luckily, I didn't have the, the sleeping bag zipped. You know, it was a mummy sleeping bag. A lot of bag. homeless people have said that. You shouldn't, yeah, zip, the, you shouldn't zip, zip it up. Do not zip the sleeping bags. Do not zip them up. Because if that was zipped up, I would have been in trouble. I would have been blatantly in trouble. And so luckily, hold on, what did that um, chain, the chain have to do? No, chain, because literally I was I jumped up and I grabbed the chain. And when I started swinging, he was like this with the light of you. Yeah? It was, already a, it was yeah. already a light, but he was like this. But because I had the chain. Why do you I think someone it. would do that? I don't know, but they were drunk. They were drunk. So yeah. was the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, was the yeah. alcohol. And you know what's worse though? It was about freedom. Oh. About freedom. How long ago was this? Uh, that was about three years ago. Three years about ago. About that. About three years ago. Did Did you change anything in the way you sleep or from that? Um. Or there's not, nothing much you can do. I I try to sleep in more open places if that makes sense. Or do you know on the view of camera? Yeah. You know something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's so yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. What makes you sad? What makes me sad? Anything um, in particular that makes you sad, that upsets you? Do you know when I just see people doing bad to other people, even when it's just something like taking a piss? Mm. And you know when it's just for nothing? You know when it's just just for the sake of doing it or because they're, they're with their friends yeah, and they think they're funny? Just for fun, yeah. yeah. it's just, yeah, that kind of stuff makes me sad. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit older now. Because like, I was a little shit when I was younger too, yeah. like a teenager. Come on, that's, that's what we do, innit? Take the piss, teenagers. But like, yeah, that kind of stuff makes me sad, you know. Or do you know when I see um, you know, when I see men speaking to women in a certain way? Obviously, I think that's obviously my growing up. Man. But yeah, do you know, just them sort of things makes okay. you know, yeah. And then, if you could get one wish, what would your one wish be? One wish? Oh my god! Um, I could get one wish. In homelessness. Well, look, man, all of us, these you know, homeless charities and people that want to help the homeless, this is exactly what we want as well. And I think collectively, you know, I'm, I don't know if we can end homelessness, but we can definitely ease it because it's a long shot. Cause it's just the, the situation is crazy in the UK and all oh, over no. the world. Um, and obviously, you know this better than we do. I want to ask you, what gets you through the tough times? What gets me through the tough times? Yeah. Um, the homeless people. In what way? I don't know, do you know what, because, and even more so lately, because yeah, lately I've been down quite a lot, because I've been mm. finding it hard lately, but um, just have, I don't know why I just have. Yeah. But certain people have noticed, and I was shocked that they noticed, because I thought like I was just being normal, yeah. but certain people noticed, and um, yeah, that carried a lot of weight with me, because I thought like I was just being, if anything, I thought I was acting more happier, Yeah. And but it turns out, and the key word like, is acting, so yeah, but, you know, but some I, people see through it. Yeah, yeah but I didn't. You, you know, I'm so shocked. I mean, when we saw you, we, first of all, like I told you, I didn't know you were homeless because, yeah. like I said, you look really good for, for being homeless because you know you don't you know like you don't have much dirt on you, yeah. which are some signs that you look for. But when we spoke to you and then you just you know got all teary because of that, and that oh, just well. shows that you have so much within you that you're you know burying under you, in, inside you. So it's just crazy to, to know that there's so oh, no, many homeless bro. people out there that have so much to say, but no one there to listen to. Oh no, bro. So um, now I want to ask you then, you know, people that walk past you every day, what's the one thing that you wish they knew about homeless people that maybe they don't know? No one's born homeless. No Powerful. one's born homeless and no one's born a bad person. Mm. You know what I mean? No one's born them people. Because I know homeless people that like, they do questionable things, but they weren't born that way. Yeah. And I know their stories. Something makes them that way. Yeah, I know their stories, you know what I mean? And yeah. That's such a powerful thing you just and said. And it is powerful, yeah. Okay, and um, now, if, for, for us now, you know, we interview homeless people all over the, the UK or London for now. And uh, I want to ask you, people that are going to watch your video, what's the one message that you, you want to give to the world? What's the one thing you uh, want to pass on to the world? Guys, it's one love. 
It's one love, guys. We all love the same. Please believe me, we all love the same. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I started off with a family and I loved them. Fair enough. It didn't really turn out the way like, I ever imagined it would, or I suppose anyone would. But um, it's one life and one love, you know? We all love the same. We all feel the same. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, and um, what about the homeless charities? Have they helped you in any way? Um, I'm going to be honest here, I don't mean to, because I don't want to put down any homeless charity. I really don't want to put down any homeless charity. But um, I haven't got much help from them, to be fair. Like, I've got food, you know, and stuff like that, but I haven't, I haven't necessarily what had about much accommodation help from them. and stuff now? No, no. Are you on Universal Credit? Um, I just started my claim again. Okay. Just started my claim again now because of coronavirus. Because when the coronavirus, someone used my um, identity fraud. Oh. You know, identity fraud. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't, I don't, love. Okay. I just had rigmaroles. So to all the homeless charities watching, guys, we need to do more, you know, we need to do much more. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much. So what we're going to do now for you is we're going to get you that hot meal. And also, you, we're going to, if you're okay with it, obviously, we're going to pay for your hotel stay as well for a week. Raw, it's no way. Yeah, is that going to be good for you? Oh, Christ, man, come on, man. Now listen, man, God's real. Yeah, let me give you a hug, man. Hey, okay, cuz. It was possible that we could have missed you today if we didn't come this way. Thank you, guys. And uh, also, we got this uh, gift card for you. It's got thirty pounds on it, yeah, with the receipt and everything, from Thank Tesco. You, um, you can buy anything from Tesco for thirty pounds. Thank you, guys, man. Yeah. Do you need any socks? We got some socks. <laughs> you don't even know how bad, but they might stink. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to show you. They don't even look that bad, right? Now, but they're, they're um, yeah. All right, so I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> socks, guys, yeah. All right, no worries. We'll get that. Have you got a phone as well, by any chance? I've got a phone, but it's dead. It's, but it's, it's dead. It's, it's dead just these charging, yeah. Yeah. All right, I've got cool. a charge. So if we get your number as well, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. nice one, bro. Yeah, so Mark, we got this uh, donut for you and the chips. How does that look for you? Thank you guys, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Seriously. When was the last time you had a nice hot meal? It was, it was a few days ago. Yeah. I, bought, um, I banged up the money and I got a quarter of a meal from that. Nice, just okay. <laughs> All right, well look man, you deserve it and um, you're saying you can't believe this is happening to you. Come on, guys, <laughs> how did today end up like this? Wow. So look man, you, you deserve it. If anyone, it's you. So enjoy it and then we'll get you the hotel as well in a bit, yeah?